Hi, this is Russ from Dankmeyer Optical. Let's talk about using the Binotron 27 eyepiece holders. They're quite advanced and we do want you to use them properly. It's very important so that you don't get frustrated at the telescope. And uh, once you uh, spend a couple of minutes understanding the holders, you're really going to enjoy them. They facilitate extremely sharp and quick focusing individually at the eyepiece. You know, you could be looking at Jupiter's equatorial zone and just look at the, the, the finest the detail and then focus on it with your right and left eye. So let's understand the holders first. Here is our fully machined eyepiece dust plug caps. Why do we do that? Well, because we like nice stuff and we know you do too. So we're going to turn this upper ring. This is the eyepiece lock ring. We rotate that counterclockwise and the dust plug will slip right off. We'll do that here too. And now we want to load in our eyepiece. So we'll put in some D21s. Let's loosen this a little more. It should just slip right in when we loosen it properly. There we go. And now we're going to rotate that clockwise. Of course we'll do the same with this side. And uh, let's just... I'm working with one hand and an iPhone, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, now we're going to turn that nice and snug. We don't have to over tighten it. Once that's done, I want you to double check something. We've got our gradients marked here. I want the second notch visible. Okay, and we want that on each side. That second notch is clearly visible. And now, now each eyepiece holder can go up for focus or down for focus. There's plenty of range to accommodate the difference in your right and left eye, but let's just keep it right at that second notch. And I'm sorry if we're out of focus here a little, doing my best with this iPhone. So basically, that's what this, this is the, the collimation collatron ring. We're just going to leave that alone. That's nice and tight. Um, if, if you find that, that this is spinning uh, against this, then this ring is too loose. So you're going to have to snug it up and then recollimate. We have a video on using the collatron um, reticle for collimation. But in any case, this is how you use the holders. So once you're loaded in and snug, then all you need to know is that at the telescope, I prefer to wink my left eye, and after rough focusing the telescope, I focus from my right eye, viewing with one eye, then I wink my right, and I go over to my left and focus, and everything should be in beautiful focus. During the night, seeing changes, objects rise, I'll reach the meridian, pass the meridian, focus can change. So you really should, especially with planets, actively use the, the focusing mechanism and you'll find that it's very smooth and uh, very effective, very effective. You can see how high you can go up with this. We don't need to go that high. Basically, again, I'd like you to start right so that the second grid is showing, the grid mark, on both sides, and then you go up a little, down a little. That'll be enough. Thank you.